He would have done it if he didn't have his hands down. You know, uh, then I would have been way more excited. But, you know, then again, you know, like, like everybody is saying, uh, you can't do that. No matter how good you are, uh, you got it. Your hands have always got to be up. You got to, you got to be stay focused, one hundred percent. Can you kind of understand where those comparisons are coming from, though? Comparing you to Chris, just matchup wise, with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, it, it, it's great. You know what I mean? It's great to see that, like we've been saying all this time, is they're just another person. The only difference is he's got that belt around him. You know what I mean? Uh, and we want to take it. You know, so that's great to be compared to him, somebody who actually set a goal and achieved it. You know, and, and you know that's sort of what I'm trying to do is I got a goal and now I want to achieve it. We, keep, I mean, we hear about why you're a terrible matchup for him. You're left hand. You got this great wrestling background, but what is it? What's the biggest challenge you think that, that he has on you that you're going to need to? Uh, uh, the fourth and fifth round. You know, those are championship rounds. I haven't never faced the one yet. I've never been in the fourth or fifth round. Sometimes I don't even see the second round. You know, um, and to see the fourth and fifth round is, you know, that's something that I'm going to have to train for, uh, which is great, you know, uh, because uh, we've been trying to train for it already, uh, and we've we've found some holes, we found some good things we like. So now it's just uh, let's implement them and hopefully come out with a win. You've been in this for about seven years now, and I'm sure at times it felt like way longer. And now you finally made it. You're doing all this. Does this seem surreal at all? You know, it, it seems a little weird, you know, because realistically, I'm the average person. You know, I, I re yeah, I wrestled for a living. I got in one fight my whole entire life. I, tr I knew nothing striking-wise or anything six years ago. 2007, uh, so yeah, seven years ago. Seven years ago uh, in June, I knew nothing, just wrestling. And to know that I've, uh, I've hit my, I'm still growing as a fighter. You know, and I'm still doing this, I'm still doing this, and I'm where I'm at now today is huge. You know, I, 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 I say the good Lord blessed me and gave me everything because, you know, it's, it's all about the right place, right time, and making sure that you, uh, it counts. You know what I mean? Uh, for example, you know, I was 3-0, and I got put in the WEC. My fifth fight, I had to fight a guy that had twice, the, or, you know, almost three times as many fights as I did. I ended up beating him, getting the UFC, you know, and then you get certain matchups and you either take advantage of them and win or you you learn from your loss and makes you better. The one loss that you have was to Rick Story and that was a split decision if I'm not mistaken. Uh, in that fight, what did you learn from that loss that helped you go on this, what is it now, six fight win streak that you have going? Yeah, it, uh, it, game planning. You know, we, 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 we went in there with one or two game plans and... Uh, in that game plans, they weren't great. They are good enough to, you know, maybe have a chance to win, but not great enough to win. Uh, and that's something that me and my coach, we learned, you know. Um, also, just uh, training-wise, too. You know, why, why is this? Why is this? Why is that? You know, and we started dissecting. Also, the way that I was fighting the last six fights before that, I was doing the same stuff, you know. And, okay, we got to correct these spots, this spot, this spot. And... Uh, you know, it really helped me uh, develop faster as a fighter. I know, obviously, you're from Oklahoma State University where you wrestled, but I heard that it, now that you're in Texas training out there that you got to do some work with the Texas Rangers. What was uh, that part involved with uh, as far as training? Uh, you know, uh, their strength and conditioning coach, yes. He's, uh, we, we bring him in, you know, because uh, my strength and conditioning coach, uh, we can always feed off other people. You know, and I, I, I'm all about my coaches always trying to learn a little bit more. Um, and whatever it might be, whatever, you know, little thing, if they can pick something up that makes them a better trainer or a better coach or better this, better that, um, I'm all for it. And, you know, also just to see how they go through a routine, you know, seeing how the Rangers, you know, some of their guys, how they, how they get prepared for their uh, game, you know, um, and it's, it's, it's quite nice. Is that part of what you're hoping hoping will help to get you into that fourth and fifth round like you were talking about? What are you specifically doing to get that work in? You know, I, I haven't started yet. <laughs> to be absolutely honest with you, I, I haven't even, I, all I've been doing is watching footage, training, you know, training here and there, uh, trying to get uh, certain things better of my own before I really get into this fight. Uh, and, you know, uh, August 12th, I'll be 
that's whenever I'll start deciding, you know, what do we do to get to the fourth and fifth rounds. Now, of course, without watching any tape and having really dissected it, we already know that he has the wrestling strength. He has that jab that he can work from the outside. He has a tremendous amount of speed. Where are you feeling that your advantage lies in this fight? I feel like I'm stronger. You know, uh, I feel like I'm faster. I know I hit harder. Um, and my wrestling is better. You know, I'm going to go out there and say my wrestling's better. Uh, you know, you don't, uh, just because it's MMA, it's a little bit different, but uh, these things help takedowns. Nobody's going to let me throw a punch and not keep their hands up. So in return, it makes shooting easier. See, I'm, I'm, the diff I'm a different fighter than he is. He's the guy who wants to sit back, wait, wait, wait. As soon as you ex extend yourself, he's going to come underneath. I'm the guy that's going to move forward, make you put hands in your face, make you react, and however you react, that's the way I'm going to go. Of course, we all know about the power left. Are you going to try to work on the right arm and get that as much already power? Have, already have. I, I hit uh, I hit a power meter. I'm only 10 behind my left. Wow. Yeah, with my right hand. Uh, and I've been using my la right hand more than my left. Uh, and I've been... Almost I've, like Rocky II in the rematch. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've pretty much been... Uh, I've been pretty much hurting some people, you know? But... Uh, it, it, it needs to be done because I, uh, I have to, and I've yet to throw it hard because I want my training partners to keep coming back in a sense. So uh, I, 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 I throw it with some bad intent, but not to kill mode. Now you've discussed that, your power, saying that you haven't put 100% out in the cage because you want to stay ready for fights. You don't want to have a broken hand. Yeah. When you go in against GSP, how much do you anticipate with that hype and everything that adrenaline going into that fight. How much power do you think you could possibly use in that fight? Uh, I'm going to try to use everything I got. You know, uh, I've, I've been conserving it because of this right here. You know, this is the this is the fight that you have to let everything go. You know, I want to walk away, win or lose. I left everything in the octagon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and this is going to be the fight that I let everything go. Um, broken hand or not, my hands have finally gotten to where they can withstand my power, uh, hitting 100%. Uh, that's what I was sort of waiting for, is my bone density and everything to get to where it can withstand everything. So uh, now it's just about going out there and just sharpening up little things, you know, my hook, body shots, head kicks, you know, takedowns, uh, and letting it all fly whenever time comes. Now, a guy like George, he's had the reign. Let's see, he was interim champ in 07, and then he became the unified, undisputed champ in 08. So he's been there for quite a while. How do you figure about a fight like, let's say, Anderson Silva and Chris Weidman? Does that inspire you going in against George? <laughs> it does, and then again, it doesn't, you know, uh, because they're, we're different fighters. One, George is way different than Anderson. He's not going to keep his hands down and yeah. act like he just got rocked from a punch. Uh, I think what's going to happen is uh, it just shows that everybody's beatable. No matter what night it is, when it is, as long as you go in there with the attitude that, hey, I can win, that's what you need most. You also have a new addition to your family, so I wanted to congratulate you on that. Thank you. You're welcome. What's the, it like having a new addition to the Hendricks family? Oh, I love it. I love, I love having kids. Uh, my wife does, too. She's a wonderful mother. Uh, and, you know, having, having a newborn, uh, man, there's just nothing better. You know, there's nothing better than waking up, seeing a little baby crying, or, you know, seeing her cuddling or my wife. Uh, and my wife lets me hold her because I, I wake up around 11. So from 8, after she feeds at 8, I get to lay with her on my chest for three hours. You know, and that, that right there is, that's why I do what I do, you know. That's why I got to win this belt. It's for those girls right there. That's, that's my world. That's why I did this. And that's why I, I'm going to get my hand raised. Thank you very much for the time, Johnny. Hey, thank Appreciate you. it.